No, this isn't clickbait. Mushroom Man number two is playable. Often, duelists will turn to cards from yesteryear to fill very specific niches in their decks. Usually, these old cards are playable only because they tick off a very specific checklist for a newer, more powerful card. Tier Limit needs a 2500 attack point fusion monster for branded in high spirits, so why not use the Aqua Type D3S frog? Flu Underese needs a small world bridge, let's go with Recuria Rasa. It's not often we play a card older than the average Farfa viewer because it's actually good, but Mushroom Man number two is seeing play for just that reason in the Cash Tira Mirror. Because Cash Tira doesn't really need its normal summon, whoever goes first can summon Mushroom Man number two at the end of their combo. During the end phase, Mushroom Man number two switches control, meaning the new controller will not be able to summon any of their cash tiras from their hand. They control a monster now. But that's not all. Though it's poorly worded, Mushroom Man number two's effect to burn its new controller activates, meaning when the standby phase rolls around, you are given an opportunity to fire all of your cash tiras effects, often wrapping the duel up with a bow. Or a fungus, I guess. It can be hard to believe that a card printed in 2002 is game-winningly strong, but 